And we're also able to confirm that result the old-fashioned way in the, the neat round hand of Jack Harris, who had the job of chalking up the results on the very first day of Grandstand way back in 1958. 1958, Jack, you didn't quite do it like this, did you? It's a blackboard, yeah, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah? It was. And when did you go over to, uh, to this kind of method? Um, about to, you know, originally. Yeah. Uh, um, that was about 1974, I think it was. Yeah? yeah, yeah. What, what? Early sixties? You were yeah. you were doing uh, it like uh, this? Uh, yes. And John Tidy, who was running the graphics operation that first day, and is still running our grandstand graphics operation, is is, is also here. Very first program, John. How did you convey the racing results? Well, the racing results at that time, we had a fifteen-foot blackboard, right. and we just chalked them on. So we had three meetings that day, and the cameras actually panned down the chalkboard to show the results at the end of the day. But we didn't show any betting. It was just straight one, two, three. For for what reason? Um, the BBC had a policy of not encouraging the betting and the yes. gambling. So. We, yes, we've never really encouraged it ever since, have we? We've not used it, have we? So a couple of years later, Jack, you went over onto this method and, and you finished the result of the last race. No problem, so uh, the old touch is still there, isn't <laughs> yes, it, Jack? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Now then, how did that get on the screen? Oh, we, we used to put it on this slide across over here. So we slid one in the back. Well, I've always wanted to do this. Go on then, give it a push. Right. Yep. Slide across. And then the next man takes that one out, throws it on the floor, hopes he doesn't make the next one wet, push it and in over the cross. And over it comes again. Sleepy rider's broken it. It always used to do that, didn't <laughs> it? always used to do that. But quite, it, uh, in Tim's early days, when Tim first started reading these, uh, one week, unfortunately, because they were wet, you had to watch how you handled it. Yeah. We put it in very slowly, tipped it up, and it got put in upside down. And right. all I could see out the corner of my eye over at the desk was Tim trying to read this racing result <laughs> upside down. And you must never wave your hands in front of it as no, well. No you look like a magician. Yeah. Now, how did things progress? Well, we actually had this system for about oh, 20 this, years. This carried on until 1986. Right. It's quite late on. Yeah. Uh, and then we occasionally used to get things like when we did the Derbys and the Grand National, we used to hand paint all the jockey colours. Right. Yeah. My goodness, there was some work involved, yeah. wasn't there? And this uh, is uh, oh, right. what I love <laughs> playing with. Now, this is... Original, isn't it? Yep, this is one of our uh, 1980 yeah. football yeah. classifieds. And you can see round the back, we had to do everything My back to front. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely foolproof, eh? <laughs> Absolutely foolproof. <laughs> Couldn't get anything wrong there. Am, am I right? I seem to recall the results coming up on the screen as uh, Tim or uh, whoever, Len Martin, was reading the results. Yeah, so we used to animate at one time oh, as really? well. We had a, a, a slide across system. Yeah. But that was when we did large studio boards, full size. Yeah, which, which made it all a bit more exciting, especially oh, yeah. if you're a Manchester City fan getting a point away from yeah, home in the look first... Look at Arsenal's week. beating Liverpool. Those right? were the days, 5-0 <laughs> at Liverpool. Well, that's... And then it all gave way to computer it's, technology. Yeah, still, around about when? 80... Late 80s. Yeah. Quite, quite late. Um, 86 was the last of, the, of that type of hand-painted racing result. And what sort of time. difference did it make to your life? Uh, it means there's less of us actually working on it now, but still doing just as much work. It still yeah. means on a Monday we've got to start getting ready for our classifieds and our league tables and our footballs and our jockey colours. It, it's still a hell of a lot of preparation and work to do in advance. Mm. Now, as I said, John, you were with the programme the very first day. You're, you're still running the graphics operation. Yeah. How many results well, do you reckon you've generated? We reckoned, calculation yesterday, we think we've done about 52,000 horse racing results. Right. But the best one was we worked out football results. We've done over 96,000 football results. Goodness me. Not too many wrong. And never, never ever made a mistake as far never, as I can recall. Never ever made a mistake. <laughs> now it's all computerised. Uh, we hear a lot about things like the millennium bug. Is Grandstand January the it's 1st of the year 2000 going to be a good one to miss? Clear of it completely. Really? No problem at all. So you can actually <laughs> guarantee no computerised graphics. We could never guarantee on. anything from one week to the next. Jolly. Well, you can be justly proud of everything Thank that you've you contributed to the programme over the last 40 years. Your graphics team is still working flat out today yes, while you've been enjoying the lunch. Yes, the television centre, yes. Yeah, have you got any message for them? Um, we've had a very nice lunch, thank you very much. Right. Um, I've lost on the first three races, but the fourth one's going to be my winner. You're having a good day. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. They're actually sending a message back right now, which, uh, which I'll convey to you at the end of the programme. <laughs> but, uh, but that lunch is still going on. Let's uh, join Sue Barker.